Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I want to show you how to tether your Canon 80D with Adobe Lightroom 6 and CC. So let's hop in here and get to this. Okay, everyone, but the first thing we want to do is make sure we have a tether cable. Now you can use the ones that are supplied with your Canon DSLRs, but your ADD does not come with even the small USB tether cable anymore. So you'll have to purchase one. Now I have one here. I forgot what brand it is. Just a basic tether cable. You don't have to buy the expensive ones, but you will need one. Now, one thing to look for when you get a tether cable is make sure it does have the little magnet thing here on the end that helps you know, keep the signal a little bit cleaner. So, if you find like a tether cable, $20. So, just make sure it's a pretty decent quality. Most of them work fairly well. All right. First, take this in and plug it up to your computer. Now, you may have to plug it to the back of your computer, front of your computer, wherever you have at least a USB 2.0 port. It doesn't have to be USB 3.0 because the uh, camera itself is still using USB 2.0. So let's plug this one up to the USB 2.0 that I have here. I have a little external cable there. All right. Now the other one here got a smaller end. We're going to plug it into our Canon 80D. So let me get this right here uh, turned around and we'll plug it up to the top port. Okay, we want to open the top you know, cover here. And we want to plug it up to the one that's labeled USB. You can see it's indicated on the little protective cover here. We want to take that in and plug it into the top. Okay. Now it's plugged in quite so. Now I highly recommend you get the little Velcro straps here to really help you know, protect keeping that being jerked out or anything. Just a little protective. That way in case it's pulled on, it's not pulled out of the camera. Okay, well now we have the camera plugged up. Now let's get over here to Adobe Lightroom and I'll show you how to uh, set that up. Okay, we can first start by uh, opening Adobe Lightroom if you don't already have it open. And we want to go up to the top, says File. Then we go down to Tethered Capture. And we want to click on Start Tethered Capture. Okay, once we get this one open, we'll have a few options here. Now, Session Name, I'm going to leave it by Tutorial. Because this is a tutorial for y'all. Now you can uh, change your naming settings if you want to. I got mine set to a few little custom ones here. It basically says, you know, tutorial, which is the session name. And the file number and date and everything. So, then you want to go down and find out where you want to put it. But click on choose. Alright. So I'm going to drop this one into test folder here. And just choose that one. Okay. And the meta information, you can put your basic copyrights. You can choose all that for import. And the keyword, you can just put in what says test image. You can put down tutorial images. And there we go. Now let's click OK. Now it's going to uh, initial a uh, name shoot. We can just leave it that's the date. That's perfectly fine. OK. Now we got the little basic screen here. You also got the little bar here. It says no camera detected. Now's the time we need to turn on our Canon 80D. Okay. Now once we've got that done, you see the Canon 80D is detected here. Now if you're having any problems running the KD8, uh, Canon 80D tethered with Lightroom, make sure if you have the Canon Utilities installed that they are completely disabled. Because if you don't, the Canon Utilities and Adobe Lightroom will try to fight over the tether connection. So that's just a little advice in case anybody's having any issues. But once you've got that done, we can sit here and take off our lens cap and stuff. And we can use the little button here to actually take a photo. And you also notice you have developed settings right here. You got general presets, Lightroom presets. And you can choose the ones you want. You choose uh, user presets. So if you got one like a little uh, one you want, for example, if you had the Canon AD hooked up to the you know, 50 mil STM, I've already got some color correction profile settings. Or if you want just sharpening noise reduction for fine details, we can choose that one. Okay. And we can see we got some information here listed on what our current uh, camera settings. Now we can either press this button here to take a photo. And you can see I took some photos there. That takes it a minute or a few seconds to import them. And you can see nothing you know, spectacular about these photos. Just some here inside my office. 
But that's how you shoot tethered with the Canon 80D. Okay everyone, well I hope this tutorial was helpful and it's really quick and simple. And if you like this tutorial, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Subscribing's free, it's for you. And let you know when I release more videos. Until next time everyone, thank you for watching.